and treasuries do. So HYG plus IEI, okay, does this start to reverse? That's what I'm looking at or looking forward to, right? That HYG sells off even as bonds are bid potentially, okay? Just because we're seeing the perception of risk. So this yellow line says HYG has been outperforming IEI, meaning that the risk spread is falling. So I'm looking for this to break down hard and that's going to take a sell off here. And, and the, find, the issue that I find myself right now is that I have a lot of bearish trades on. So I'm using my, my kind of uh, uh, unusual option activity. Um, and this is, this is kind of put me in a little bit of a pickle. So how much, how many more bearish trades can I put on? So I put on a bullish trade one on FXI uh, on Thursday, dropped on Friday. We're moving higher today. Um, I put one on, on a, uh, um, rig, you know, kind of the bottom fell out of oil. Um, but the problem is a lot of my, a lot of my bearish trades are, are rolling out of the money here. My jets, for example, uh, Ford, uh, bullish activity in GM. So the problem is all of a sudden my sensitivity to a market decline is diminishing potentially at the point when the market may start to pull back here. Okay. So I'm looking at HYG and I'm taking kind of a measured approach right now. IYR as well. Maybe doubling down there, but the problem is I, I've just I've just put a lot of weight on the bearish side of it. I've added a couple of bullish trades that may play out positively. I got you know I got like you know about a month left, um, but the issue is that if the market breaks down, it's hard, right? You want to be on the right side of that and have something on that's going to get that's going to kick in into a sell off.